Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about monthly stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish trend, what's going on with the stock market world on a large time frames like weekly, monthly, quarterly. And as usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it, and read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. My name is Vadik, let's start from stock market heat map based on all USA companies market cap monthly performance. Looks like a lot of green, especially technology, mega caps. Tesla negative. Uh, yeah, some you see utility completely bearish, utility red, but generally it's a lot of green on monthly. Let's see quarterly. Quarterly even more more green. Quarterly still everything bullish. And weekly, weekly, weekly it's a 50-50, right? But technology all green, finance all green. Okay, now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. And uh, I don't trade on a weekly, monthly and quarterly time frame. I do monitor it. Uh, for swing trading, I'm using daily and four hours time frame for entry and exit position. Now, if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200. Let me do, let me do like this one. White line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Sell and buy script indicator, below yellow line are sideline and Heikonachi bars. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my screen, you see green line SMA5 with bearish crossover over red line. It's a bearish reversal trend. When bars below SMA5 and SMA5 did bearish crossover downtrend, it is bearish trend. When bars above SMA5, it is bullish trend. As of now, last bar, it's a Q's, right? That last bar above SMA5, it is bullish trend. Okay, <clears throat> let's start from DXY. DXY, let's start from weekly, right? Bullish trend, last bar touched SMA20. USA dollar DXY on weekly time frame, still bullish. Monthly. Still in the bearish territory because last bar still below SMA 20, below yellow line, still in the bearish territory. And quarterly. Quarterly last bar still above all moving averages, it's in the bullish territory. SMA 20 did bullish crossover over 200, it is bullish crossover bullish setup. Now let's move to Q's. Let's start Q's weekly. Weekly 15 weeks in a row bullish trend. It's unusual, very strong, very bullish trend for 15 weeks. It's similar, it was over here, right? 15 weeks bullish trend. Very powerful, but it will end someday, especially because it has bearish divergence, right? Price action is bullish, bearish divergence on RSI. Monthly. Same, monthly bullish, bearish divergence on RSI, multiple bearish divergences. And quarterly, same story, bullish trend and bearish divergences on RSI. Bearish divergences on all indicators, it means market is building bearish condition, it's not a reversal signal, no, so far no reversal signal. Trend is bullish, but divergences means that market index is building bearish divergences condition. Okay, let me show you this white boxes. It's all gaps below. All back gaps below. I believe they will be fi filled. Usually they always filled. 
it's only time it's only question when so far trend is bullish no bearish reversal signal yet and let's see performance performance one month plus eight percent very powerful run year to day plus seven point seven percent percent i'm sorry 7.7% year to day performance for Qs. SPX, SP 500, let's start. Weekly bullish trend, bearish divergence, right? Monthly, let's, let's move, move monthly. Same bullish trend, same bearish divergence, right? very powerful last bar disconnected from moving averages bullish trend quarterly bullish trend bearish divergence also on rsi even started from here it should go even over here right bearish divergences it means market is building divergences it wants to have correction you see last bar disconnected from all moving averages this lines yellow line is my expectations of the corrections future corrections it doesn't mean it will, it will happen now it will happen in the future same for Qs, right this yellow green red line is a expectation for the future correction okay back to s p 500 quarterly still bullish with bearish divergences right it is bullish same like Q's straight you see 15 weeks straight bull run bull run it definitely with bearish divergences it definitely wants to have correction and performance for S&P 500 one month plus 5.6 percent five and a half percent and year to day same five almost six percent year to day almost six percent very great result for first month of december and beginning of february let's see weeks what's going on weeks weekly still bearish it's in the, in the at the bottom with bullish divergences monthly same it is at, at, at the bottom level and bullish divergence on RSI. It wants to bounce, but so far it's still at the bottom. Dow Jones. Dow Jones weekly. Weekly bullish trend, no divergences, right? Just bullish trend, very overbought on RSI. You see RSI in the overbought territory, bullish trend monthly say monthly right bullish trend and same bearish divergence bullish trend bearish divergence this is the expectations let's change the color this yellow this is green this is I can stay blue and this one is red. That's what we can expect from the correction. Bullish trend with bearish divergences and quarterly. Let's see quarterly. Bullish trend and even divergences started from, from this point, right? Very negative, very bullish trend with bearish divergences now let's move to iwm iwm russell 2000 let's start weekly i'm sorry i didn't check performance right let's see performance for dow jones dow jones performance one month plus three percent and year to day plus three almost three point eighteen percent for iwm have have performance of the uh, S&P 500 okay <laughs> let's move to IWM weekly last bar above all moving averages 
It is positive bullish. Monthly loss bar above all moving averages also is positive bullish trend. And quarterly. Quarterly it's a tail bar, but it's a loss bar above all moving averages. And SM, SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red. It's a still bullish trend. RSI did bullish crossover over Heikonachi. Buy signal, bullish trend. The yellow, the green, and, re and the red line is, are my expectations. Bullish trend, right? Bullish trend. Uh, performance. Performance of the Russell 2000, let's see. Year to day just flat zero. Year to day flat. Okay, now let's move to Apple. Apple, let's start weekly. Weekly SMA5 did bearish crossover over time. It's a bearish reversal signal, but last bar is still above. SMA 20 still in the bullish territory. Monthly time frame, same story, last bar above all moving averages, bullish territory, still bullish trend with bearish divergences on all indicators. Monthly, similar story, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend and Bearish divergence on RSI, look at it, bearish divergence on RSI, bullish trend for Apple. The last bar still disconnected from, disconnected from all moving averages. Amazon, let's start weekly also, Amazon. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI for Amazon. Monthly, last bar, very bullish trend, and quarterly, also bullish crossover, bullish trend for Amazon on all time frames. NVIDIA, um, yeah, let's, let's start NVIDIA. NVIDIA, it's very crazy. NVIDIA, capitalization of the NVIDIA, almost like capitalization of the China, Chinese market, stock market. Uh, let's go. Weekly, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, nothing changed. Huge overbought. Weekly, no, monthly, monthly, bullish trend, right? And bearish divergence on RSI. It definitely lost bar disconnected from all moving averages, and it will need some correction to connect back to SMA 20 yellow line. RSI in a very overbought territory. Last time from the over overbought territory on edit reversal, right? Edit reversal. That's what we can expect now. Bullish trend. And quarterly, quarterly very powerful bullish trend and bearish divergence from the 2018, 2018 level. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Tesla, Tesla let's start weekly. Weekly last bar still below all moving averages, bearish trend. It looks like bearish setup also. SMA 10, 20 bearish setup. Monthly SMA 5 did bullish crossover over red line and 20. Last bar below all moving averages except 100. Bearish, bearish trend. Month, uh, quarterly. Last bar below SMA 5 and 10, still above at SMA 20 level, it did touch SMA 20. Maybe it will bounce. It's in a bearish reversal signal, but so far above 20, still in a bullish territory. 
Microsoft. Microsoft Weekly bullish trend with bearish divergences. Monthly. Monthly same bullish trend. Bearish divergence on RSI. Bullish trend with bearish divergences on RSI on monthly time frame. Divergences is a condition, right? Yeah, quarterly same story, bullish trend. Last bar disconnected from all moving averages. RSI has bearish divergences. It, it built bearish divergence. It means it wants to have correction. Baba, Alibaba group, different story. Alibaba group weekly still bearish, still below all moving averages. It has bullish divergences, but trend is bearish. Monthly similar last bar below all moving averages, still bearish. And quarterly last bar below all, all moving averages, still bearish. That's all. That's all. Let's do summary. Like I said, dollar still positive. All indexes and equities, they all still bullish on all time frames. They all have bearish divergences. They all in the overbought state on RSI, uh, but at the same time they are still bullish. No bearish reversal signal at all. Still no bearish reversal signal. It means we cannot turn bearish until we can get some signal. So far, no no reversal signal. Trend is still bullish. That's all. That's all from my side. Let's move to disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, this video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.